where at the Amsterdam Whitney Gallery will be talking to the owner, also the artist, and once again, happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> happy holidays. <laughs> We're here at Amsterdam Whitney Art Gallery in Chelsea with the owner, Ruthie Tucker. There's some big news because we are in a new room, a much larger room. Do you want to share this with our audience, Ruthie? Thank you, Crystal, and thank you for honoring us by your attendance. Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, located in the heart of Chelsea, has expanded into a newly beautiful gallery here on 25th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues. My husband, Ambassador, Dr. Alton Amsterdam, is the co-owner, and he should be arriving shortly. We are proud to be presenting the work of Miss Karen Ciola Tylak, a very renowned Washington, Maryland artist who is noted for her very variated styles from abstract work, the labyrinth, to figurative, and this is her newest series, which is featuring the Venetian um, Festival, which I feel Miss Karen Tylak should be able to explain with a sparkling joie de vivre. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, Thank and you. it's the holiday. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Thank you. <laughs> May I present Ms. Karen Ciola Tylak, one of the contemporary artist masters of Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. Thank you for honoring us. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. Hello, good evening, and happy holidays to everybody. Uh, I've decided on the theme of Venetian Carnival this year. It is a carnival that existed uh, for about a thousand years now, and it uh, traditionally started the day after Christmas and ran right through to the first day of Lent. And uh, so if you go to Venice the last 10 days uh, before the end of the uh, season before Lent, you'll be able to see these costume figures walk the streets very, very slowly, very mysteriously. And they bring a lot of joy and a lot of fun. The parties are in the palazzos and uh, it a, it's a wonderful time to be there. Cold but wonderful. And it's my hope that uh, people enjoy these paintings. I've uh, included two couples pairs in this grouping and also the Four Seasons. Happy holidays everyone and with us is Arika Watmore. From where? Miami, Florida. Oh, okay. How are you liking this uh, cold weather here? Seems to be suiting me just fine after all that heat. <laughs> Well, tell us a little bit about your concept and painting and, and your ideas and well, what makes you do what you do. Well, I do it because I do it like I breathe, but the concept behind these paintings is a, a Finnish myth called the Kalevala, and, and the paintings behind us are actually portraits, or what I call ancestor portraits, of the giant goddesses that grind, ground out the mill. The mill used to ground out gorn, what is it? corn, gold, and plenty, and now it just grinds out life. So that's basically the concept, but these are just the ones that turn the mill. It's the holidays. We are here with Harrison. Harrison, say happy holidays. Happy holidays. And his beautiful wife. Happy holidays. <laughs> Your name? Maria Paz. And we're going to be showing some of his work, and we, all we just want to say once again, happy, happy holidays. holidays. <laughs> Harrison combines figurative subject matter such as a moving portrait of grieving father with the application of mixed media. Other textural additions such as hardy brown leather and plush black adorn his canvases to dazzle the senses. Harrison is a self-taught artist who lives and resides in Chile. We're with Lorraine Hudson on the holidays and Lorraine's work, it's so sparkly and bubbly and alive and it just makes you so happy. Lorraine, tell us more about your work. My work has changed this year, Crystal. I've been working a lot outside, enjoying the elements, enjoying the sunshine and the grass and the trees and the flowers and it's very healing for me and it's bringing joy for everyone, I hope. Everyone who has seen this new work has felt the vibrance and the joyfulness, and I tried to bring the joy of nature into the world. Hi, Annette Rawlings, and I have a painting here. It's part of a Louvre series, and one came to New York, one went to Paris, the Louvre, and another one is in Barcelona, Spain right now. I'm happy to be in New York for the holidays. Have great holidays. 
Hi, I'm Penelope Chisano, one of the artists here at the Amsterdam Whitney Gallery, and I'm so happy to see Crystal again this year, because last year we had a fabulous interview, even though it was the day that the plane went down in the river, but everybody lived, and we are still here again for another year. We all remember that. That was the miracle pilot, the, mir the miracle flight. Uh, yes. Thank you. But uh, the art tonight is really fabulous here. But my work is started out as a bunch of fat chicks in bikinis because I noticed at the beaches, people didn't exactly look like Barbie. So my work evolved from larger women to just regular women. And I might say that the work is all green. It has all been on as recycled paper. There are bits and pieces here, like this might be a, like a trim from a bra strap or something like that. All these are cut out stickers from a, a guy in the So it's the a mixed village. media. It's a mixed media, basically just pieces of leftover stuff put together to celebrate art. It's not deep, it's not intense, and you don't have to guess what it is. What you get is what you see. So, great to see you again, Crystal. Oh, <laughs> you too. It's <laughs> happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. Happy holidays from Amsterdam Whitney Gallery. Happy holidays. <laughs> Christmas cheer. God bless. Thank you. I'm Crystal Hart reporting from Amsterdam Whitney Gallery in Chelsea. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays.